Nintendo just released a massive update, including brand new DLC for Animal Crossing New Horizons. So I thought what better time to talk about the music from this absolutely iconic game series. This is one of the most unique and interesting sounding things I've ever heard, but weirdly nice. Classic chord progression. That part is maybe a little bit different than I typically would expect to hear there. Wow, this is so interesting. So if we're calling like the whole thing an A, we have one. Minor three, four, and now we have this. This is like a climb up. So we have the four chord and it goes to here. Technically, I mean, the chord we're playing is, is really like a D sharp half diminished, but I think the function is B dominant, B seven, which would make sense because we're going from three, four, why is that such a nice chord change? It's so nice. See, I would normally expect it to go something more like. Maybe, okay. Maybe it's just an addition of that, of that two chord. It works. Ah, we're doubling the speed of the chord changes. And what we're doing is. Up until this point, the only thing that we've done is use kind of a really commonly used device in harmony where we could do the same thing twice right in a row. There's so many videos out there that are like, oh, look at all the songs you can write with these same four chords. One thing that's really cool is that instead of just repeating it, the second time around, we substitute that one chord for the minor three. Instead of going. Now we climb down. And this is the new chord where the one used to be. The first time we did that chord sequence, this was where the one was, but now it's the minor three. And look at the chord, the, the notes in that, in that chord. We have C sharp and A, and we have G sharp. That's C sharp minor. And that is literally one half step away from just being regular A major. We just moved that A to the G sharp. But it works almost the same way. It just gives a nice new quality. It turns it into minor and it gives our ears something new to listen to as we sort of repeat that same chord section. Instead of going back to the top, go to the three. Same thing again. Although here, this is where it changes. We add that, that B. Before we reach the five. It's just a nice little development. C sharp minor. Whoa, what? What? Did we just use a chromatic walk down from the C sharp minor? Is that what we did? I think that's exactly what we did. We went one chord, minor six, to the minor three, and then before we just went down, we used this chromatic, this chromatic uh, motion to get there. This is where we run into something like a tritone substitution. When you see resolutions like that, we sometimes refer to them as tritone substitutions because really what we're doing is a two, five, one. Now, okay, check this out. We're on C sharp minor. If we are trying to land on B minor, a whole step down, we can go right around the circle of fifths and that will create a two, five, one. 
before I dig into tritones anymore, this wound up being pretty long. And so instead of posting the whole thing on YouTube where the algorithm would probably kill it, this video is much longer and without ads over on Nebula. There's a really cool thing that's going on here with the harmony. We got to talk about tritone substitutions and things like that. That's a little into the weeds to get into in this video. So be sure to check out the Nebula version along with another exclusive piece of content where we're actually going to play one of these next tunes with a band. All right, more about that in a little bit. Oh, that's so nice. The minor four is such a beautiful sound. After you resolve something, you can add a minor four back in and it just makes everything sound so, so nice. Minor four in relation to a major one chord is such a beautiful sound. Next, we have the 5 p.m. hourly music from New Horizons. What? <laughs> what? What? Wow, talk about a departure. Is that where it turns around? Tritone sub, another tritone sub there. Woo! Hold on. Wow. First we have this. Very simple. Two, five, one, six. With the groove and the instrumentation and the synth, like, this sounds great. Stay on the one. Oh, interesting. That's a fascinating key change. When we're gonna go change, we go uh, two, we land on the one, but we don't go to the six. We just sit here and then all we do is climb up to the new two. Now we're in a new key. And now we're in the new key and we sit there for a while. All right, all right, hold on. Five. This is a classic motion. When we're going. It wants to lead. Right there, we were in the key of B. Remember, we started in A and we moved up a half step. So we're in the key of B. A lot of times, if you want to shift. To the four chord, it gives you this nice palette. Oftentimes we'll hear that on a bridge or something like that. Because you can move around all over from there. Woo! Whoa, whoa, okay. Yeah, that is really nice. Two, three, four, and then, right? Cause we're, we're in the key of A. So we have this G dominant chord and there's a, sh there's a sharp 11 in there, which fits really nicely. Cause we're, we're in the key of A and there's, there's a C sharp in there. So if you take that, that G dominant chord, sharp 11 fits great. Really sounds nice. That is beautiful. Wow, that's fantastic. And that is not what I was expecting to hear.
Hey, and just before we continue, I want to remind you guys that there's a brand new improv course available on the Cornell Music Academy right now. There's a link down in the description. It'll give you all the basic tools for understanding how to do what I just did, which is just take a couple of chord progressions and make up some melodies on it. But if you're not there yet, we also have an intro to piano course. It's literally over 170 videos taking you from square one to being able to play this instrument, starting you on wherever you want your musical journey to take you. And if you've already done improv and you're a little beyond that, we even have a modes course looking into some of the functionalities of the different modes of the major scale and how to use them in your improvisation. We are constantly growing the academy and adding new courses. Thank you all for checking it out so far and I would highly encourage you if you want to better your skills, please, it's the best way you can support the channel. Check out the Cornell Music Academy at the link in the description below. Thank you guys so much and let's continue. Okay, and now we have something that is supposedly jazz. So KK Sliders, I'm sure many of you guys know, is another longtime fixture of the Animal Crossing series. In New Horizons, he shows up every week to play a concert. This album cover is like classic jazz look from like Verve or something back in the 60s. Kind of looks a little bit like Soul Train and probably a bazillion others that I haven't even thought. Look, at they even put the Blue Note logo, like a slightly different version of the Blue Note logo up in the corner. That's fantastic. Let's see what it sounds like. Oh no! <laughs> Does it sound good like jazz wise? Like no, of course not. But it's it's using the old style video game type of sounds that it's using for the music. It's obviously super formulaic and it's all within a grid and everything, but it's it's the the novelty of it that that is kind of great and hilarious. Let me listen to this and see if I can figure out what's actually being played here. Oh, that's great. This is, okay, so the intro to this is such a commonly used little chord trick within jazz, and it's, um, we have a five chord, but then we're gonna jump up a minor third. And then there's a little, little gap. Oh, that's so hard to hear. What's going on there? Oh! One, six, two, five. I think it's going to the four. So it must be like a... All right. Is that what it is? That is super cool. I mean, that's a great tune. It's like the harmony's fantastic. The ideas are all there. You could easily just play this with a group and it would sound great. That is hilarious and awesome. And that's gonna do it for me. This was a lot of fun. I genuinely had not checked out any of the Animal Crossing music before. And I'm now extremely glad I did. I'm, you know what? Maybe I'll have to try, try out the game because uh, it sounds like it's just a lot of fun with some great music in the background. Let me know your guys' thoughts on the Animal Crossing soundtrack. If there's other things from previous Animal Crossing games that you'd like me to cover, be sure to let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.